Hi everyone! Today's tutorial is going to make your nails look candy-licious. For reals, looking at them makes me want to lick them. I'm going to show you two designs. One is a candy cane print and the other one is a lollipop design both created using the water marble technique. I'll leave a link to my water marble playlist in the info box below if you want to check out more of my videos. As always, start with base coat to protect your nails. Then apply a red glitter polish as the base color to all of your nails. With glitter polish, if you miss a spot, simply dab a little bit more of glitter in the empty areas to even it out. Let that dry for a few minutes before continuing. To create water marble designs, you need a small container. I'm using a glass candle holder about 5cm diameter wide. You can also use paper or plastic cups as well. Smaller the better. The bigger the container, the more nail polish you will have to use. The water I'm using is room temperature tap water, so around 25 degrees Celsius. We don't want the water to be too cold or else it would dry up the nail polish too quickly to drag the designs. Have the nail polish bottles opened and ready to drip. Start with the white polish. Wait for it to spread, then add a drop of clear polish. Then repeat until you get a few rings of each color. Once the rings have been created, use a small dotting tool or an orange stick and anchor the top and bottom areas by dragging the design from the center towards the edge of the cup. This will keep the nail polish in place. Wipe away the polish on the tip using a nail wipe. Then drag a few horizontal lines across the cup to create the candy cane stripes. Now get your nails ready and dump it face down onto the design into the water. Depending on the size of the cup, you can do less or more fingers all at once. Hold it in the water and blow air onto the water surface to dry up the remaining nail polish. Clear out the excess polish using a Q-tip. Swirl it around to remove everything. Then once the coast is clear, remove your fingers from the water. To clean up, soak a nail wipe in nail polish remover and wipe away the excess polish from around the nail. Then repeat steps to create the prints for the remaining nails. Remember to not drip the polish from too high, or it might end up on the bottom of the cup instead of spreading on the surface. With water marbling, getting the water and nail polish right is the most important. Not all nail polish will work for water marbling, so try what you have and see if any of them will spread in the water. The ones I'm using today is the Sally Hansen White On and Conad Top Coat. I find they both work pretty well. Once the design is created, dip the two remaining nails into the water. Clear the surface and take your fingers out. Once you remove the excess prints with the nail polish remover, it should look something like this. The area with the clear polish allows the base color glitter to show through. To do the lollipop design, start with a coat of white polish as the base color. This will make the water marble print more vibrant looking. To avoid the mess of cleaning up, you can try taping the nails first. Start with a strip below the nail bed then a longer strip to go around the tip of the nail. To create the lollipop design, start with a white polish, then a drop of red polish. Keep alternating the colors until you get a few rings of each color. Again using an orange stick and anchor the sides of the rings first to stop the nail polish from moving around. Then starting from the outside rings, drag a swirling circle shape into the center of the cup. Take the stick out, clean the tip and drag another swirl from the opposite end of the cup into the center. 
Then again from a different side of the cup and do another swirl into the center until you create a whirlpool in the middle of the cup, small enough to fit around your nails. Once you get to the center, slightly turn the stick and pull it out of the water. When you're ready, dip your finger in. Clear away the excess polish from the water surface and take your finger out. Carefully remove the tape around the nail. This will get rid of most of the unwanted prints. Any remaining nail polish you can clean with a flat brush soaked in nail polish remover. The bristles can get into the groove of the cuticles for easy cleanup. Next use a detail brush or a small liner brush and circle a lollipop shape on the nail. Then cover up the rest of the nail. Again, if you need to clean around the cuticles, just use a flat brush. Now dip the brush in black polish and draw in a stick below the lollipop swirl. Then draw in two triangles as the bow. I started off with a red color but decided to cover it up into a green colored bow because I think it balances out the colors better. Once you're done, apply top coat to all of your nails to smooth out the design and prolong the wearing time of your manicure. I hope you can give this design a try. You can find more tips on water marbling in my other water marbling tutorials linked below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more nail art tutorials. Thanks for watching.